Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to say, I hope you guys like the data overlay. That's something that I'm gonna try to keep doing for all these track videos. I really enjoy seeing it. I think a lot of people were asking for it. So this is just me going out for one session and just having kind of like a fun, a fun session. Um, I ended up doing a 123.3 as my fastest time for the day. I think the car has a high 122 in it, um, but I think I'm pretty happy with a 123. Um, that's a solid time and I dropped basically a couple seconds for my first track day with the Civic, so definitely learning front wheel drive and uh, we'll continue to do so. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here we are back in the Civic. Um, it's very, very hot today, but we're going to go out, have a good session. Um, the car's been dropping time every single session, basically. Um, I, I don't know if I should say the car. I, I... And yeah, so for those who don't know, the car is pretty close to stock. Uh, it has suspension work, it's got coilovers, a rear sway bar, um, Hawk DTC 60 pads. Other than that, uh, stock engine, stock tune. That's basically it. All right, let's go have some fun. All right, the track actually looks really empty right now, which is perfect. This is awesome. I don't hear a single car, actually. This is, this is insane. Is this going to be our own little private track? out on track here gonna warm everything up the car hasn't driven in a little bit it's been maybe like 45 minutes or so so it's a little cold I've been really dialing in myself to this car I think I'm getting a lot more used to the gearing especially for this track I mean you really it takes time with any track to know what gear you need to be in. Um, I found that staying in a higher gear, even though you're not as fast, actually saves a lot more time because you're not having to shift. On top of that, I've also been pushing the braking zones more and more, namely this one. There's a lot of time to be had here that I think is still on the board. See, now this is where I would have gone in a second, but now I'm actually staying in third because, I mean, it's a, it's a corner now, and it, there's very little distance to where I can actually be watt. So it's like, okay, well, why would I waste time downshifting when I could just stay in the same gear and maybe not accelerate as quickly? should have some decent temperature in the tires, start kind of pushing a little bit. I will say, this car with bolt-ons is gonna absolutely be a, a freaking blast to drive. The car is fun now. I could only imagine what it's like with an exhaust and an intake. It'd be a blast. Are they gonna let this Miata buy? I think this guy, I think it's a spec Miata, I'm not actually sure. Actually, I don't know if I should. I'll let him buy, I think he is faster. I'm not actually sure, so we're gonna try to keep up with him just for fun. Maybe we'll get a pass, who knows. The thing looks hilarious. It has like two mufflers. <laughs> it's very odd. But yeah, I'm really impressed with how well this car actually handles. I mean, these annex coilovers, they're, they are fairly budget, but they're doing a really nice job. I was able to add a little bit of damping, make it a little bit stiffer. And now I think the car is kind of in a really good spot. All right, now we can start pushing. I feel confident now. Ha 
off that curb a bit. Tires are communicating very nicely, letting me know that I'm on the edge of grip. We're definitely sticking with this Miata. I actually think we might be a little bit a little bit faster. Maybe yes, there. It's one thing I'm really not used to is having ABS. I find that I really need to push every single braking zone a lot more because I'm just, I'm used to my car just locking up instantly with my old Miata. So having ABS, man, I think that would be really, uh, really good. 123.75 it looks like. Maybe that's the last one, I'm not exactly sure. Oh yeah, I'm loving this car now. Yeah, I can, I can push that brake zone even more. Hawk DT60s, while they suck on the street, they're actually pretty solid on track. I really haven't had a lot of issues with braking performance. Woo! Got a little rotation on the braking there. This car just, man, I'm really surprised at how well this thing handles. Oh man, I got so much more in it on that braking zone. I just need some bigger balls. It's just, <laughs> it's a little worrisome when this is my only car. It's like if I mess this up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh yeah, bring it around. That's my favorite part of the track right there. I think that's where I'm actually most confident. This part scares me. Oh, this scares me a lot. This bit. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I really pushed that zone. That felt a lot quicker. Yeah, that was better. Go out wide here. I've been trying to go wide and then cut in. Yes. Dab of brakes. Bring it around. It's a long sweeper. This is a fast corner. Going 76 at the exit. I'm probably gonna call it there. Start cooling it down. 125.3. All right, that's that's not good, but <laughs> when you're talking to a camera, it gets a little bit difficult. But oh man. Boys, I gotta be honest, this car is awesome. I'm really enjoying it, honestly. It's not the fastest thing in the world, don't get me wrong, but it's really fun. And it's it's playful, honestly. You know, you lift off mid-corner and it kind of kicks you in the butt. It doesn't do all the thinking for you. It's a good little time. I think I, uh, I would like to modify this car a little bit more. See how it can uh, how it can maximize the fun factor. I think having an exhaust and intake, it's gonna make the car faster, sure. But it's just gonna make it sound so much better, so much meaner. 
I think uh, I think that's gonna be the ticket. After that, really, this is just a fun daily driver car that you can take to track at any point. Have no overheating issues. No real issues of, I mean, any kind, honestly. It's just a little bit slow. Other than that, it's, it's good. Nice little car. So anyway, boys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I had a blast making this. I mean, I getting back into track driving, I just, oh, I love it. It's so good. It's just, it's the best thing in the world. Oh, it's amazing. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, I love doing these track videos, so getting good reception just kind of encourages me to do a little bit more. But yeah, oh man, awesome. Thanks for watching. Deuces.